Hello everybody, do you want to know the Canadian cities which are best for technical jobs? If the answer is yes, then look no further because in this video I'm going to tell you about the top 10 Canadian cities which are best for technical jobs. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. I regularly upload videos on Canada and Australian immigration process and Canadian lifestyle as well. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so that you don't miss any of those videos. Okay, before I proceed further, let me tell you about two other videos that I uploaded recently. The first video was the top 15 in-demand jobs in Canada in this year of 2019. The second video was about the IT jobs and its scope in 2019. In the first video, you'll get to know about the top 15 jobs that are in demand in different sectors and in different industries. While in the second video, you'll get to know all about IT jobs, which are the in demand technologies, which are the certifications which can give your IT career a head start in Canada in this year. The links to both of these videos are there in the description box. You can check it out. Okay, now let's begin with this video and let me tell you that the details, rankings, statistics shared in this video have been taken from the study conducted by CBRE Canada. The final rankings were determined based on 13 metrics categorized into three thematic indicators relating to the tech talent decision making factors, tech talent employment, educational attainment and high tech industry outlook. However, cost competitiveness measures were also evaluated. Okay, so let's begin with the rankings. So, number one, Toronto of Ontario. This city has been the king for the last few years and yet again. Ranking summary, number one in all the three hemispheres. Here you can see some of the statistics. I won't go into detail in each and every statistics mentioned over here, but still I would highlight the major factors over here. So you can check out the average salaries which are mentioned uh, it's quite good for you know for software developers, programmers. It's something like eighty-five thousand, and but the house rents are also very expensive. You can check out the condo rent per unit per month is more than two thousand dollars, which makes the cost of living index pretty high in Toronto, which is one thirty percent, thirty percent more than the average of Canada. However, the ed educational attainment is very good over there. It's thirty-six percent bachelors or higher. Okay, number two. Ottawa of Ontario, ranking two in all the three hemispheres. Over here, the highlight is the educational attainment. It's very good, it's 41%. However, the housing cost is not that expensive. So the cost of living index drops down to 100%, which is equal to the Canadian average. If anyone is interested in checking out these statistics, you can pause this video and check out the statistics. I'm not going into the details. Number three. Montreal of Quebec. Apart from tech talent, its ranking is 3 in the other two hemispheres. However, the educational attainment is 29%, but the cost of living index is 94%, which is well below the Canadian average. Probably because of the reasons of housing costs, uh, rent to wage ratio, which is quite good over here. You can see the condo is available just in just around $1,200 per unit per month. Okay, moving on. Number four, Vancouver of British Columbia. Probably the costless city of Canada. The ranking summary says it's five in uh, tech talent and high tech industry and four in uh, education. But the cost of living index here is very high, 124%, 24% more than the Canadian average. But the educational attainment here is very good, which is 34%. The tech talent diversity says the it's the 75 to 25 percent ratio of male and female. Okay, moving on. Number five, Waterloo region of Ontario. It's very close to Toronto. Ranking summary is tech talent number three, education number seven, and high tech industry number four. The cost of living index is well below the Canadian average of 100. It's just 91 percent over here. It might be because of the high wages and low average rents. You can check out the wages over here for managers. It's above $100,000 and uh, for software developers, it's something like $86,000. However, the housing cost is quite low over here, something around 
to $1,300, which makes the cost of living index pretty low over here. But the educational attainment is not very good, which is 27%. That's why it's number seven in that area. Okay, moving on, number six, Calgary of Alberta. You can check out its ranking. Its cost of living index is slightly above the Canadian average of 100. You can probably get a condo over there in something around 14 to 1500 per unit per month. But the educational attainment here is very good. It's around 35%. Moving on, number seven, Halifax of Nova Scotia. Its cost of living index is very similar to that of Alberta. You can notice the average wage over here is a bit lower than Alberta, but the rent is also quite low. So that's the reason why the cost of living index is very similar to Alberta. Okay, moving on. Number eight, Quebec City of Quebec. Its educational attainment is not very good. It's It ranks 16. The tech talent is seven and uh, the high tech industry is eight. However, the best point to note over here is the cost of living index. It's 88%, probably the lowest in all of the 10 cities. The housing cost here would be something like uh, 1000 to $1,100 per unit per month for a condo. You can check out the average salaries, the growth, and the employment here as well. Okay, number nine, Hamilton of Ontario. Its educational attainment is 26%. The cost of living index is lower than the Canadian average. And you would find a home, a condo over here in around $1,500 per unit per month. The 10th one, Victoria of British Columbia. Its ranking is 14th for tech talent, 10 for education and 6 for high tech industry. The cost of living index is a bit higher than the Canadian average at 110%. But you can also check out the other details mentioned very clearly over here. The tech talent diversity is 71 to 29%, which is quite good considering the ratio in the other cities. Okay, so these were the top 10 cities. If you want to know about more cities, I can give you some more information, some bonus information you can say. But I won't give you all these details about, about those cities which rank 11 to 20th. So moving on, you can check out these ranks over here. Number 11 is Edmonton of Alberta. Number 12 is Winnipeg of Manitoba. Number 13 is London of Ontario. Number 14 is Oshawa of Ontario. Number 15 is Regina of uh, Saskatchewan. Number 16 is Barry of Ontario. 17 is St. John's of uh, Newfoundland, Labrador. 18 is Windsor, Ontario, 19 is Moncton, New Brunswick, and the last one is Saskatoon of Saskatchewan. So these were the top cities with their rankings. You can check out the score, you can check out the difference, and probably you'll have a better idea of where you want to settle, where you want to get a job after getting your permanent residence, where you want to move in Canada. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. And if you think it would be helpful for your friends, please share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now.